Um, hi folks. Um, my name is Ed Harper. I'm from Cape Fear Island. I farm goats over there. But the, the fact of the matter is that this, this is positively medieval, what they're at. I mean, even if you accept the government's premise that you know, we should somehow pay for the banks, pay for the mistakes that were made by, by the system, um, to bleed, it, it, it's in medieval times, you know, if, if you were sick, one of the cures was to, to take blood from you. And this is exactly what they do. We have an economy which is collapsing. We have a situation that 450,000 people have no work, that 200,000 people have left the country already. And this is ridiculous. I mean, what this government is doing is driving our young people predominantly and young families out of the country. I mean, I'm 63 years old and I don't want to die on my own and have to get my neighbours to dig my grave. I'd rather my kids were around to do that. And if this government carries on the way it is, I'll have no family to do that. And by Jesus, I'll haunt them. And the fact of the matter is, I mean, you know, we have got to stop this now. I mean, they have already agreed with the IMF that in two years' time, in 2014, that charge will be 600 euros. They're putting it in at 100 on the grounds that we're so stupid that we'll say, ah, sure, it's only 100, a few pints, we'll sign up. Well, it'll be a damn sight and a few more pints in two years' time. And on top of that, we'll have the water charge. They are spending 3.2 billion to put in water meters. And in, in the worst counties, we are losing 50% of the water through the pipes before it gets to the houses. And they'll turn around on us and they'll say, look lads, you know, people have to pay for the services they receive. People are wasting water. Yeah, people are wasting water. The local authorities are wasting water because they haven't had the money from the same blasted government that is robbing us now. And if we're going to pay charges and we're going to put money up for anything, let's do it in a way that the, those who have most pay most and it goes to the most useful things. Let's stop wasting water out of holes in pipes and stop having roads that have potholes that destroy cars and twist people's ankles and let's have houses that are properly insulated and all this, and when they've done all that, and when, you know, they have told the bankers, sorry lads, you know, if you go down your equivalent of the betting shop, and you put your money on a load of developers, and you make a mistake, you pay for it. Because we'd have to, they wouldn't come round and shovel out a bucket full of money for us if we put it on the wrong course, would they? And why should we let them do this for the bankers? We shouldn't. So if we stand together, you know, if they turn out and they take one of us to court, then all of us that can turn up in that court and we pack the bloody place and we stand outside and we make it very clear where we stand. And if they turn up with the bailiffs to enforce a fine, then we block the street. And no bailiffs. We're not having it. We've got to stop somewhere. And this country has a tradition of doing that. In the days of the Land League, in the 19th century, landlords were told, no, you're not enforcing unfair rents. And this is the equivalent. The government are charging you 100 euros this year, 600 euros in two years for doing nothing for you. And they're going to give that away. But why should we pay them? We shouldn't. Yeah.